Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in this short video I'm going to do a quick Capture One tip on how to create a polarizer effect in Capture One. Now what we mean by a polarizer effect is we're going to simulate the effects that a polarizer will have on the colors in a photo which is basically making blues darker and uh, more saturated. Unfortunately, there's no really way to um, simulate the other effect of a polarizer which is to reduce reflections in an image. So to create this effect, what we're going to use is Capture One's Color Editor. So, let me dive in here. So to find the Color Editor, you go to the Color tab and scroll down to Color Editor. So I have all my other tabs closed here, just so we have a bit more room. Okay, so in the basic tab of the Color Editor, it allows you to adjust the hue, saturation and brightness of the various colors, much like in most other software. However, it does have one limitation. So if I go to the blue here, for example, and I try to adjust the lightness, you can see I can only adjust it to a value of negative 10, which isn't really enough to do our polarizer effect. So let me just reset that. So instead what we're going to do is go to the advanced tab. So if I click on advanced here, and this allows me to pick a color and do more of an adjustment on it. So I'm going to select this little tool here, which is the color picker. So I click on this, and now I can click on the blue area of my image. So I'll just click here, and this has now created a selection. So what I want to do is I'm going to expand this because we want to make sure we get all the blues in the image. Okay, so you do that just by dragging the, um, dragging the arc here on the color wheel. And the second thing I want to do is I want to put my smoothness up to 100. So one of the advantages of using the advanced tab is that you can now reduce the lightness all the way down to minus 100. Now, obviously this is way too much. So what we want to do is set it to a value of about minus 40. Okay, and now we want to also increase our saturation. So we want to bring that up to say about 50. And we can actually enter values in directly here as well. Okay, so this has now created a nice polarizing effect. And you'll see there's a little checkbox here beside our little paint chip that shows us what our selection is. So we can actually toggle that on and off. Okay, so then now that we have that, uh, what we can do is we can save this as a preset so we can use it on other images. So to do this, you go up to the little menu that's on the top of the color um, panel and we want to click on this and go down to the bottom and go save user preset. And this will bring up the save preset dialog. So the important thing here is we only want to save the color editor advanced. We don't want to save the basic. So tick the basic off and then go save. And now we can save this as whatever we want. So I've already created one, but I'm going to save another one. I'm going to call it Polarizer 3. And just hit save. Okay, so now I can go to another image. So save this picture of the seagull here. And to bring up my polarizer effect, I just go in here to the same menu and you can see I have Polarizer 3. And there is the effect we created earlier. So if you want to adjust this down on each individual image, all you can, all you have to do then is just adjust the slider. So mostly the lightness will control the effect um, and you can adjust the saturation as well. But uh, in my experience, just adjusting the lightness will actually control the intensity of the effect for the most part. Um, so that's pretty much it. That was a super quick tip on how to create a polarizing effect in Capture One. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please like, share and subscribe. Check out my Patreon channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.